Well, my edge tester came in. This is the edge on up edge tester. Um, some of you may be familiar with this already from Cutlery Lover Jeff's video. If you haven't checked that out, I highly recommend you do because I'm going to butcher the hell out of this and he is very, very thorough. Basically, this thing is just used to test how sharp your knife is. You've got two different ways to test it. One is with these little clips and the other is with a spool of this cutting media. It's like thread that stretches across this guy. Using the clips is a lot easier. However, it's about 20% less accurate. So whenever you use the clips, you have to multiply 1.2 to whatever the number is that results from your edge. It's an on off button, backlight, T zeroes it out, and these other two buttons are obsolete. I don't know what the hell they would be for. Basically what you do is you set your media up to be tested. And there is this fulcrum thing that's supposed to help you guide your edge in. I can't really get it to work well, so I haven't been using it. I've only tested one edge so far. That was uh, the, knife, whoops, the knife I had sharpened with the Bester stone. This one right here, the Beston stone, excuse me. The results I got were 220 in the flat and 190 in the belly. And going by their little chart here. It was 190 and 220, so it was in this, this area right here. Apparently that's a uh, utility razor blade range. Okay, I can live with that. I'm gonna go ahead and get this set up. I am going to test the edge on the last knife that I sharpened. This has not been used. It's just been sitting here on my counter since the night I sharpened it. So we'll see where the edge reads according to this. So I've got the media on there. I'm going to zero out. First I'm going to test the flat portion of the blade. Then I'm going to test the belly. Now putting pressure along this side doesn't create a reading. I'm not sure how well you can see that with the glare. I don't know if that's any better or worse. Let me tilt this light out. How about we just turn it the hell off? There we go. So pushing down on this doesn't do anything for the, the reading. You can't read it. It's only when you press in the center that you actually start to see results. Now if you just press very lightly you see it automatically reads so this thing is very sensitive so I'm going to test the flat first and that reads 137 remember this is with the clips so we have to multiply that by 1.2 to get the actual result Let me write that down before I forget it. I don't know if it makes a difference with the clip in or the clip out. I don't guess it does. I'm talking about where they've got the overlap. There's an overlap where the aluminum holds the threading together. So I don't know if it matters if that's facing out or facing in. All right, zero out again. We're gonna hit the belly this time. And what I'm doing, I'm not doing any sort of drawing motion. I'm just going straight down like a push cut. Well, that was skewed. It kind of went crooked. Let me try to angle this up a little more. And that's at 127. And 
and because I can't add without my toes being exposed, I'm going to get my calculator here. So 137 times 1.2 is 164.4 and 127 times 1.2 is 152.4. So those are the numbers for my full sharpening on the Imanishi Latte, the Imanishi 1K and the Imanishi 6K. I then briefly stropped with white compound on leather. Now the original numbers 220 and 190 I got just straight off the best in stone which is a 500 grit stone and I then very lightly stropped with white compound. There is a difference in the numbers though it's not not very large. There you go. Like I said I'm going to start keeping track of all this for every knife that I sharpen. I'll keep some kind of spreadsheet going with all the information on it and post post it down in the description so you guys can follow along and if you actually have one of these you'll be able to compare my results with your own. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.